How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today we're going to be creating an icon button with a notification badge using HTML and CSS. Okay, so this right here is going to be the finished product. Okay, so it's very easy to create something like this and include it in your own project or website. And I'll also be leaving a link to the code below if you want to reference it throughout this tutorial. Okay, so now let's go inside this tab and of course begin from scratch to create what we just saw. Okay, so first step is going to be inside the HTML itself. So we're going to create a new button, uh, a new button element right here with a type of button. And then we can also give this a class of icon dash button, but you can of course uh, name this class whatever you like. Okay, so now going inside the button itself, we need to include an icon. So we're going to be using the Google Material Icon Library uh, for today's tutorial. So uh, going inside here, this will be the website which we're going to reference. So I'll leave a link to this below also. But of course, this is the Google Material Icons Library website. So for example, you can you can search here many different icons. So uh, in my example, I used the notification icon uh, right down here. Uh, this one right below, if I can type it out. So notification just like that. Um, so right below here, I believe there we go. So notifications. Okay. So um, if you want to include this library on your own website, you can just go to uh, the guide right up here and you can simply copy and paste the link um, right up here under the icon fonts for web. Just copy and paste this link tag inside your HTML head as I'm doing right now. So now um, we can begin using the icon library. Okay, so to actually use the icon library, going back in the actual reference, um, it shows the usage right here. So in this case, I'm going to be using a span with a class of material that's icons and of course include notifications right there. So let's go back inside here and we can just make a new span with a class of material dash icons and inside here we can just type the name of the icon, in this case notifications, just like that. We can save this and then we can see in the browser we get the notification icon right there. So of course, like I said, you can choose your own icon to achieve this right here. The second element inside the button is going to be the actual badge itself. So let's make a new span with a class of icon dash button underscore underscore badge. And inside here, you can specify your number of notifications or your number of, you know, whatever it might be. So in my example, I'm going to say two for example. So now saving this, of course, we get something like this in the browser. So now it's going to be all about CSS to, of course, take this and convert it into what we saw right inside here. So let's go inside the style tag. And the first thing I want to do is I just want to increase the margin on the body. So I'm going to say margin right here for 25 px and that is just going to be for visual purposes of this tutorial just so we can actually see the whole contents of the actual icon and the badge okay now let's firstly target um, the icon dash button element itself so the very uh, the very first thing here and the most important thing is going to be to position this right here as relative this right here is going to allow us to position the badge in the top right corner but more on that later on we can also display this as a flex and also an align items of center and a justify content of center. This right here is going to ensure that the actual icon right here, this, uh, this uh, bell, is going to be in the center vertically and horizontally. We can save this and we get something like this right here. We can also specify a width of something like 50px and the same goes for the height right inside here. Let's also give this a text color of something like triple three for dark gray, as well as a light gray background for triple D right there. Let's give this a border of none, an outline of none, and lastly, a border radius of 50%. And this right here is going to give us rounded corners, um, of course, this time an actual circle, okay? Cool. So now we have, of course, we have the actual icon button uh, styled up. We can move on to styling up the actual badge. So let's target the icon button uh, badge class right here. Okay. And the first thing is going to be to position this right here as absolute. So this is going to work in combination with the position of relative right up here. And it's going to allow us to say something like this, where we can say top for minus 10px and right uh, minus 10px. 
So now saving this, it's going to put the actual 2 in the top right corner and it's actually 10px um, uh, from the top and the 10px from the right but going outwards from the actual container itself if that makes sense. So I'll just get the developer tools up right here. As we can see the badges of course, uh, you know, like I said, it is as we can see right there just behind the actual text here. It is 10px uh, outside of the actual bounds that uh, the, the, uh, the actual uh, uh, green, uh, green box right there. It is 10px outside of the actual uh, container for the, uh, for the icon button. So that is what that is doing right there. We can also specify a width here of 30px and the same goes for the height as well as a background of red. Okay, let's also give this a color of white and we can save this and of course we get something like this right here. Now, I just want to show you what happens if I remove this position relative from the icon button. In this case we can see now it is in the top right corner of the whole page. Okay, so having this position relative right up here in the parent is going to make it so the actual positioning of the badge is relative to the icon button and not the page, just like that. So now let's apply similar styles to get the, uh, the two in the center. So we can say display flex, uh, justify content of center and align items of center right here. Saving this gives us this right here. We may want to also just add a border radius of 50% uh, of just to of course make it so um, we, have, uh, we have a circle and we might actually want to just quickly go inside here and make this 25px that might actually look a tiny bit better. Let's save this and we get something like this. So of course just make sure that your actual uh, icon badge can support two numbers. In my case that looks perfectly fine. Just make sure your widths are okay with your actual font. So the last step here is going to be a very final touch and that is going to be just to have some user feedback when hovering over the actual icon button. So let's go inside here. We can just say icon button right here. We can say when it gets hovered over we can change the cursor to be pointer and also we can change the background color to be something like uh, let's just do uh, triple C. Let's save this and we get something like this upon hovering over it. Um, or alternatively you can even make it so essentially you can have this cursor pointer but also you can say icon button. Uh, then you can say colon active and when it gets actually clicked on we can apply that background color so now upon clicking on the icon we get that that different background color so that is how to create an icon uh, button with a notification badge using html and css like i said code in the link below thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video